Hi, this is Andy Wenberg from Backcountry Access. Today we're going to take you through the four phases of a beacon search. The signal search, the course search, the find search, and pinpointing. We've set up two different scenarios out here. The first one we're going to go through will feature one searcher and one buried victim. And the second scenario will feature one searcher with two buried victims. Today we'll be using the BCA Tracker 2 Avalanche Beacon, but the techniques we're going to show you out here can be applied to any beacon on the market. Before getting ready to head out into the backcountry, you want to double check and make sure your beacon has plenty of battery power in it, and also make sure that everyone's beacon in your group is functioning correctly. And always remember, you want to wear your beacon directly under your outermost layer. So if this is my outer layer, I'm going to wear it right underneath here, where it's nice and accessible if an accident were to happen. The first phase of the beacon search is called a signal search. The goal of this phase is to find a strong signal. If there is a last seen point, begin your search there. If there is not a last seen point, you will need to search the entire debris field. Remember to move fast, always looking for surface clues. After a consistent signal is found, you will enter the course search. Use your directional arrows and distance readings to navigate your way. Move as fast as possible and follow the flux line until you reach a distance of about 3 meters. At that point, you enter the find search. Once you are within 3 meters of the victim, you will begin the find search. Hold your beacon just above the snow surface and bracket to find the lowest distance reading. Remember to move slowly, and once the lowest reading is confirmed, don't hesitate, start probing. A probe is used to determine the exact location and depth of the buried victim. Be sure to probe perpendicular to the slope and in concentric circles. Once you have a positive strike, begin shoveling. With only one searcher available, you will solve this double burial as a set of single burials. Go with the strongest signal you pick up first. Go through the signal search, course search, and find search, and pinpoint. Dig the first victim out. Clear their airway and turn off their beacon. Once the first victim is breathing on their own, you can continue looking for victim number two. Begin your search for victim number two where you left your signal search if no signal is detected after immediately turning off victim number one's beacon. Once you have the signal for victim number two, go through the course search, find search, pinpoint, and dig out the victim. If you have more than one searcher available, spread out and search in parallel. This can speed up the process. When searching in parallel, each searcher will commit to a strong signal once detected. Be sure to consult your local avalanche forecast. Also be sure you're carrying your avalanche beacon, probe, shovel, and airbag pack at all times. Remember, this video is in no way a substitute for an avalanche class, but it will help you get started in practicing some beacon searches and becoming familiar with your avalanche safety tools. Thanks for watching this video on beacon searching. But remember, shoveling is the most time consuming phase of an avalanche rescue. Be sure to watch our next video on strategic shoveling and the ABCs and D of digging.